All right, welcome back. So the show is still Sport Matters and KZ, you are just tuning in into um, the show. All right, before we went for the break, we talked about the fact that um, the Tigers have been knocked out of the Afro basketball, but however, have been grouped in Group A alongside Uganda, again, Mali, Cape Verde for the 2023 FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Well, I don't know. It was sad news for us um, yesterday when we did see the Z Tigers knocked out of the Afro basketball by the Ugandas. And um, this for me really speaks volume because it all started from the Tokyo 2020 where they went in, were not able to equal, were not able to um, record even just a win. Then coming into the Afro basketball, yes, to win wasn't convincingly, and we thought lost to um, Ivory Coast, and we thought playing Uganda, who we weren't even ranked higher than the D Tigers or even the players, um, the team that they, um, they played with in the Afro basketball itself. But eventually, they came and did not the Tigers out of um, the competition. How disappointed are you, Tiger? Well, it was very disappointing because if you look at, um, the like ranking, you said, the ranking of the Ugandans, they are far away from us. And Nigeria is currently the best in Africa. Absolutely. So, like you said, at the Olympic, that was where the problem started. And I could remember after the um, their game against um, Ivory Coast, the coach, Kept de despite it was a slim victory for the coach, uh, for the Ivory uh, Ivorian, but the, the coach was insisting that he was disappointed. You know, a lot of Nigerians said he was expecting too much from them, and we saw what happened yesterday. So it was quite disappointing, and with this. It is definitely going to affect their ranking if care is not taken. If another country go ahead to win the Afro basket, definitely to affect our ranking. Well, um, Joel, the these Tigers um, finished third quarter trailing Uganda by 18 points and eventually lost the game 60 to 80. Who should be held responsible? Now, um, after the Tokyo, um, the, the other coach, I think he stepped down or something, and then the Federation was like, he's not moral. He's not moral. It, this is the reason, or this was the reason rather he left. Probably he saw the loophole and he saw this coming and he had to look, I, I want to bow out because probably they're not giving him. They Mike Brown and they got a new coach who is yeah. well a prominent coach. Yeah. And, and again, you know, um, the players that went for this um, Afro basket wasn't the squad that went to Tokyo, you know. And they had a complaint like, these guys, they're not formidable. It shows a level of lack of um, preparation. To me, that is exactly what happened. But now, yeah, you are out of the, I mean, um, the Afro basket. You have a, you have a World Cup coming up. What are you going to do? What is the level of preparation? What players are you inviting? And it goes to tell us our league is not functional. We have a basketball league in the country. For God's sake, what's happening? The league is dead. So the federation should be held responsible. There is no league as we speak currently. The federation should be held responsible because the league. What are these people doing with the funds they are giving to them? It's, it's, it's absurd. They ask you which fund. I mean, if we, we, we listen, we listen, we listen to what's his name. Uh, one of our colleagues, um, Akim Bosari, came in to speak on Friday, last yeah. week, Friday. He came onto the show and he said, the current, um, the current um, federation president, the president of Musakida, says that there was no proper handover and there was nothing in um in the, like there was nothing there was no phone in the treasury so, there was nothing exactly, in, the account. The, in the account so i want there's no okay. money so who should we um who should we blame is it the past administration or the current administration that is in there now or i don't know you see i remember something tara said some couple of weeks back you know some people should take a fall for their for their wrongdoing they have to prosecute it because there's a ministry there's a ministry that made quotation, so to speak, yeah, quotation to the, to, I mean, to the federal government, and funds was given out to him, and those funds are made channeled to federations. What do they use funds for? There has to be proper report. There has to be, there has to be checks and balances, which is not, which is, we are not seeing it. So, somebody just will walk into the office and, you know, go to the bank and get money for his personal use, and, I mean, to, to the detriment of the nation, then his person is walking free on the street. It's wrong. So, I think the Ministry of Sport should be responsible for all these wars. Ministry then, of Sport, um, do you agree? <laughs> and uh, like Joyce said, um, 
the, the players that are listed for this competition, they are not the ones that... The same that, players that went for... But, but the truth is, this is a continental game. Absolutely. So there is no need bringing in the foreign professionals. League. But like he said, there is no functional league. So there is nothing you can fall back on other than those boys. So if you use any other players other than those foreign base, these are the results we'll be getting. Wow. So those are the best and that we are when it comes to basketball. Well, it is so, so sad. I just hope that those are terms of affair when it comes to the basketball will look at what um, should be done, address this issue because we can't just keep doing this over and over again and expect a change. No, it's not possible. We failed woefully at the Tokyo 2020, now again at the Afro Basketball. I hope it's not going to be the same thing at the FIBA World Cup because they qualify, they, they, the group has already been drawn and now we know our opponents. Mm -hmm. The same Uganda, Mali, Cape Verde, nothing less than a victory in all of this all of these games that we are talking about because anything less than that then i just feel we are not ready to just do what we are supposed to do away from that let's still stick with football this time around um, nigerian professional football league which then players move from one places to another one team to another not just here in nigeria also some have moved out of nigeria however Coaches too are moving from one club to another and this is not a different one where the likes of Wikitarist have eventually appointed um, Kabiru Dogo as technical advisor of the team. Yes, we saw what he did with, uh, was it um, Lobby Stars? At least he was able to put them in eighth position on the log. And he once coached the likes of ABS, I remember, Obilori, and Quara United, Shooting Sunshine. Stars, Sunshine Stars, Nasara United, and now Wikitar is. Um, they almost managed to run off relegation, and they feel, I think if we bring this guy in, he's gonna do something for us. What should we be expecting, or what should Wikitar is be expecting from um, Kabiri Dogo? Well, um, well um, when, when you're giving special powers, you know, you, you will need to use them. And um, who much is given, what is expected. He knows, he knows his onions, he knows exactly what he wants to do. He knows the club is going to. He has been there, he has been in the Premier League for a long period. And when, you, when, you're, when you're given, you know, this kind of role, you're almost like the head man. Because after the president, so to speak, or the board of directors, you are the next person. So the whole burden of the club lies on you to sign good players and probably push them to a better position in the league. They'll probably then hide the confederations. But this is when you have to prove yourself as a good manager. He is, he is, I know he is, because judging from what he has done with other teams, he, he has um, really proved himself. He has a good CV, and I'm very sure we can tell you happy having him in the squad. Anything for we and Kabi Dogo or we can tell well, Good uh, move. Well, it's a good move, and uh, looking at the team, I went to. They are not really big guns when it comes to. Absolutely. And with the experience he has gathered, ABS, Quara uh, United, Nasara, Sunshine, I know you should be able to put them in the same position at the end of the day. Well, let's wait and see when the league kick starts. A um, lot of speculation to say the league might perhaps kick start October, but we are waiting to see if that will stand. This is a very sad one. I almost want to take it at the tail end of um, the show, but however, we just have to take it. Green Eagles, former Green Eagles players, a person of Thompson, Hussein, passed on yesterday. It's just a very sad one at the time. Well, uh, it was a sad very one. Sad. And, um, very sad. Well, people like this, um, I don't, I was not opposing to, to Watch, watch them. them. But I know then, my dad, he always comments. I think he was center midfield also. Yeah. He used to tell me then that he's one of the best in West Africa. And it's a sad one. And the, the, the good thing, the issue is that there is no how long a man will live. Definitely, there will be a time <laughs> he has to. But I just pray that. Go with grant him with an arrest. And also grant the family as well the fortitude to bear these um, irreparable um, laws. We'll take a sh very short break as well. When we come back, we'll talk about some other stories as regarding transfer stories 
Yes, Anthony Griezmann, that was the big shocker over the night. Nobody saw that coming. You can imagine after playing for Barcelona, scoring goal with all your mind, and hey, your former club comes to you and say, we want you back, even though as a loan. And finally, he agreed, and he signed, um, um, he moved to Let's Go Madrid. These and many more we'll be talking about. And also, Ty seated here, he said they just signed. Perhaps he will be in the first position to say to you guys who the sign because he was. I don't want to be sarcastic this the room because the may, way and way the way he did mention the players this time, you will think that they signed a Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. But then, good for Arsenal. But we will be talking about that after the break. We'll be back shortly. Stay tuned.